Hey guys, what's up in this video? I want to talk about the Sony Xperia Z2 versus Galaxy S5. Um, in this video, I want to just uh, tell you the difference between the Snapdragon 801 processors. So the main difference between the uh, between the same processors. So of course, uh, it is the same Snapdragon 801 running on both devices, but there is a difference between these two devices. So Qualcomm have some confusion through the through tech bloggers that when it announced a new Snapdragon 801 chipset at MWC. Uh, is that uh, it will be running in the Xperia Z2 and the S5 so this was the confusion it was because of a Qualcomm uh, registration number which was MSM 8974AB which was previously known as a member of Snapdragon 800 family of processors so Qualcomm took some uh, time to explain its new categorization and it turns out that both of the MSM 8974AB and MSM 8974AC processor that are in Z2 and S5 respectively are now uh, comprising a new Snapdragon 801 category as stated by Qualcomm's Jason uh, he said that uh, we apologize for any confusion but the specific part number is mostly an internal reference the name of the processor for the both Z2 and the S5 is the new Snapdragon 801 so Qualcomm bragged that the new Snapdragon 801 comes with 14% faster create 400 processor cores 28% faster Adreno 330 graphics and a 48 45% uh, improvement in camera sensor proce processing speed allowing native 4K video recording and other imaging goodies. How did Qualcomm do this in comparison to the Snapdragon 800? Simply in the 2.3 GHz quad-core MSM 8974AB, the GPU clock speed went from 450 MHz to 550 MHz, while in the 2.5 GHz quad-core MSM 8974AC in the Galaxy S5, the GPU speed is 578 MHz, a little bit higher as compared to the Sony Xperia Z2. And of course, at the same time, we get 3 GB of RAM on the Sony Xperia Z2. So, thus the Snapdragon 801 processor in the Galaxy S5 is slightly faster than the 801 in the Z2. Uh, but uh, we have to test some, you know, real-life test uh, if the higher clock speed does, does uh, you know, favors Galaxy S5 in terms of benchmarks or not for... Uh, for of course uh, when the devices will officially be released so moreover these uh, two versions aren't be too confused with the upcoming snapdragon 805 which will be a whole different ball game when it be released a higher clock speed maybe three gigahertz um, dual core three gigahertz or quad core three gigahertz or maybe an octa core from snapdragon which will be an awesome thing so yes uh, now you know the difference between the snapdragon 801 in the S5 and the Z2. On the paper, it seems like the Galaxy S5 is still faster as compared to the uh, Xperia Z2, but of course, there's not much of real life difference. Uh, real life test has been happened. So, yes, thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe for Dell Tech videos, news, and rumors. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.